What's the latest grooming trend millennial men are spending their money on? The group that proudly sports beards and moisturizes daily is also obsessing over hair and driving sales in the men's hair care sector. Here with the story is WSJ senior style reporter Elizabeth Holmes. Hi, Elizabeth. So great to see you. Hi, Tanya. So what does the data tell us about the way young men, is it mostly millennials, are yes. taking care of their hair? So I was noticing a lot of products in my husband's bathroom. <laughs> He's gonna kill me for saying that. But then I, and then I was sort of wandering the aisles of Sephora and the drugstores and I thought, oh gosh, there's a lot of new hair products out there. And I looked into the data and it's showing that men's hair products, especially styling products, so waxes, creams, and pomades, are really driving growth in the overall men's personal care market. So interesting. And, and that is after the growth we've already seen in sort of the skin care and other grooming products, Yes, correct? we've been riding this wave of men sort of pay more attention to their appearance, right? In fashion, we have Men's Fashion Week now here in New York. We also have seen, you know, skincare had a really nice moment for a while. Those sales have begun to sort of slow. And now guys are turning their attention to their hair. They're topping it <laughs> off. Now, yeah. is part of it that there that there's also a, an increased marketing to men? I know you brought these products and these look very male to me. It's clear these are meant for men, not women. Yes. So a lot of guys are okay to use whatever in the bathroom, but what these product makers are realizing is if they sort of package it a little bit differently and make it to, you know, to suit their needs and what they're looking for in the shopping experience, the guys are, are very willing to buy a product that says four men on it. Uh, and you can see, I mean, they're very masculine in their appearance. Basically, nobody wants to be embarrassed by something that they have on their sink or in their medicine cabinet. And so... Especially if they bring a date home. Exactly. You know? <laughs> dark, dark tones, lots of block lettering. And it's also, it's very uh, clear. No guy wants to sit around and read complicated directions. They want to know very quickly how they can get a look. They are also not willing to sort of browse the drugstore aisles the way women sometimes just sort of peruse. Guys want to go in and out and so they're trying to make these packaging stand out so that they can see exactly what the product does. Do you think there's one product line or one brand who's been ahead of the trend and sort of has been able to capitalize on some of this? You know, I think actually some of the premium products are, are doing really well. In the mass market, definitely Dove, Men Plus Care is a big leader here. Um, Old Spice. Mm, there has hair products hey. so they're in on it too. So, you know, there's something at every price point. And are they good? I mean, if, if there were one product that you would recommend men to try, what would that be? You know, a lot of guys get advice from their barber or their hairstylist, and I think that's actually a great place to start because every guy's hair is sort of different. And the fact of the matter is guys don't tend to have a lot of hair, so you can't like overuse a product or it's really obvious. So a hairstylist can definitely give you some direction. Right. Um, and pay attention to that and then also just try and use it correctly a lot of guys will blame the haircut or the product if it doesn't turn out like they want <laughs> right <laughs> instead of like blaming user error the technique so also, yeah. yeah exactly <laughs> so it's something to consider to watch not just what product they're using but how they apply absolutely it. now is it all just a marketing twist i mean is this conditioner the exact same thing that would exist for a woman just in a different packaging you know there are different schools of thought on that some people say hair is hair and mm -hmm. it's all the same and so it's totally fine and there are a lot of great unisex products out there bumble and bumble has all unisex products but they you know, sort of pick 15 that they push towards men. Um, some people say men's hair is a little bit different. You know, it's obviously short in a lot of yeah. ways. <laughs> sure. And, um, you know, men's scalps can be oily and, you know, produce different kinds of um, things that need to be addressed. But I would say a lot of it can be considered pretty unisex. I have um, used some of my husband's hair styling products and on occasion. they're great. I had and they're great. Yes. yes. They're, so they're very so good. mix and match. Now, how much of all, of the, how much of this is influenced by celebrities? Are there celebrities with fabulous hair that everyone's trying to emulate? A lot. Yes. So I, after all the red carpet shows, I always get grooming alerts. And so now they're more this rise of the men's celebrity groomer that's hitting. And so people like John Hamm, Leonardo DiCaprio, Jared Leno, Harry Styles. I mean, there's just, they go on and on and on. David Beckham. I mean, talk about great, great hair. John I mean, Hamm basically had a whole series around his hair. I mean, exactly. <laughs> and let me tell you that wow. hair has product in it. Yeah. You can tell <laughs> it does have product. You're so right. Wow. Now I'm going to, now I've just opened my eyes to all these fabulous men and hairdos that I was probably overlooking. Exactly. That undone look is, is done. It's I very done. You. So do these some of these celebrities have their own hair groomers? You know, female celebrities for years have had a makeup artist and a hairstylist mm. in tow. Are male celebrities now doing the same thing? Yes, so there are celebrity groomers and they, you know, guys really only have their hair. They wear a little bit of makeup, obviously, to camouflage flaws and things like that, but it's their hair that sort of takes center stage. And so, yes, there is a whole booming business of women who just do men's hair. I guess the bottom line <laughs> is hair is important to guys. It is. <laughs> it is. Elizabeth Holmes, thank you so much for that. Thank you.